This is a guitar lesson for Light Switch by Charlie Puck. Hey, my name's Dave from Guitar Co. If you want to keep up to date for brand new lessons happening every week and guitar tips and tricks for many different things like strumming, finger picking, chords, musicianship, and much more, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and post a comment below with any questions you may have on the song. I answer every question, try and help as many players as possible. Let's get into the lesson. Welcome along to this lesson for How to Play Light Switch by Charlie Put on Guitar. Right, here we go. You're gonna need a capo on the fourth fret. Whether it's straight or crooked, it doesn't matter, right? So there's base, four basic chords. Uh, we have a B minor seven type chord. Index, second fret up from the capo on A. Middle finger, second fret up from the capo on G. Ring finger, three frets up from the capo on B. Those three all together. And finally, we add in the E string at the bottom. So all together, you're going to pick thumb with your picking hand, thumb, index, middle, ring. And I do have some finger style uh, tipped videos as well. Check them out below the channel if you're not too familiar or you struggle with finger style. So that's our first chord. Okay, we hold that for four beats. And now the next chord is a D major nine, which is essentially just your index, two frets up from the capo on G, middle, two frets up from the capo on B. And you pick it from the D string, you go. Like that. So the two chords so far we get are two, three, four, then one, two, next one's A, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's B minor seven, D at major nine, and A. Then finally we have an E minor seven, which is your index finger on the second fret up from the cap on A, where you'd have for E minor anyways, and then your ring finger on the third fret up from the cap on B. Now I'm picking the, the E string, D, G, and B. You might be wondering, how come I've that finger left there if I'm not using it? It's basically like insurance. If I hit the string by accident, it still sounds nice. If I don't do that, it sounds weirder. So that's why. A uh, common tip for other songs too. So our four chords all together are our B minor seven type chord. We get one, two, three, four, D major nine, two, three, then A, one, two, three, four, then E minor seven, two, three, four. Now, because of that, that brings us through the verse. Uh, one thing is the rhythm to add in for the verse now. So the way we do that, it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, same again. Right, so you see that will work. Now the rhythm of that goes. You could count it like this. You'd count one, a two. Okay, so if you want to say that with me, if you're having trouble with the rhythm, you go one, a two, like that. One, a two, three, four, one, a two, three. Four, one, a two, three, four, a one, a two, a one, two, three, four, like. All right, so that'll give you the rhythm of the verse. Now, the other thing you'll have noticed straight in from the get go is this. It's um, I'm gonna play out here. You'll hear a tinny type guitar sound. That thing. That comes in to the pre-chorus. Now, if you want to see a guitar cover where I play along with the entire song, that is done as well. So you'll find the link for that below this video or in the comments below. 
Now, I'm going to teach the pre-chorus. We have the co verse covered. So, it's the same four chords, but there's a little bit of a thing added in where we're going. We add in a small little thing ahead of the next chord. So I'll play it first. So I'll go one, two, three, and four. Sorry about that. Small frets. <laughs> That's why my A isn't sounding too clear. Uh, no, maybe I should get lessons. So uh, we get B minor seven again. Now, before your D major nine chord, what you're going to do is the following. You're going to get this bottom finger, move it underneath here, and you're going to pick the bottom three strings really quickly. Like that. So we get. Now, the change will be the challenge here for some players out there. I'd practice that just over and over. So those two pairings now go. Now what you do next is to get to the A chord from D major nine, you get your ring finger and you pick the same three strings again. And then you go to your A, same rhythm. So those three connected up all together go as follows. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the last one's a little bit different, same rhythm. You're gonna move your ring finger up a fret. So now you're already in position for your E minor seven chord that's next. So we're on A. Then you slide that up a fret and you pick those three strings again, the same three strings you had all the other times. Finally then, you play E minor seven. The difference this time is we played it this way in the verse. We hit thumb at the top, these three fingers, D, G and B here. But this time we're gonna go thumb at the top and the three fingers or where they are for the fill, like that. So coming from A, like that. All together we get this. So this is for the pre-course and it also works in the course. One, two, three, four. Now, that brings us, that's the verse done, that's the pre-chorus. And by the way, in the pre-chorus, that thing is still happening, the And the other one then. You see, they're heavily based in each other. Now, the next thing is, we get the chorus. You turn me on like a light switch. Now we gotta make the light switch sound. We gotta do it, right? The man put a light switch in the song. We gotta add it into our tutorial. So I am on a bass line here. The bass line is still based on the chords. Check this out. If you play the chords of the verse, it still works. You turn me on like a light switch. See, it will work the same. But if we wanna go. Okay, now, for those of you out there, you might recognize this as octaves. We have our index finger on second fret of A, our ring finger or pinky on the fourth fret of G, and that's listed as if we're up from the capo. So you're going to go, and I'm using thumb and middle finger. You may rather use thumb and index, that's okay, whatever you rather. So I'm going thumb, thumb, middle, thumb. Like that. The counter go one, two, three, four. Now, what happens here is the light switch sound, I am basically, I was listening to it, I was thinking, 
How can I make it sound like a light switch without getting up and going over to the light switch here? Depending on your comfort level in getting away from cords and getting back to where you need to be, um, I picked here just for fun, but you can also do it like here. That would work. So we'll go with that. So you're gonna go, you turn me on like a light switch. So I basically just get my hand, I rest it. I'm not pressing. If you press, you'll hear that, of course. I'm just resting. And it's very slight click. We won't be able to replicate the exact sound of a light switch, unfortunately. So we're gonna go. And then after the switch, we do the thumb, middle thumb again. So that all together goes one, two, three, four. Now the good news is we take that same shape, we move it up three frets, one, two, three. And that's your rhythm there. Move up a string, same thing. Finally, open string in the E. Okay, so the chorus all together. One, two, turn me on like a light switch. Sorry. Will you turn me on like a light switch? Okay, and that can also be added with the... So, that is the chorus covered. Now, we have covered so far the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. And you know yourself, if you have questions, post a comment below. I'll be only too happy to answer. The next thing is, we're into verse 2. And there is the same chords again. Mm -hmm. The pre-chorus will be the same, the chorus, and the bridge is the same as the chorus. We have the whole song done. Now, basically, to uh, make sure that you're getting this, I have an interactive chord tab done, and uh, you'll grab the link below the video for that. It'll keep you up to date, and there's like, I don't know, I've lost count, about 200 other songs in the song library too, if you want to grab them. All right, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you very soon.